Amen. I think we can tell you what you're going to do in Swahili. So I'll just use this one. Uh, you probably take this from somewhere else. Uh, leo tunaendelea <coughs> kuangalia kuhusu neno la Mungu if it is fact or fiction uh, kama neno la Mungu ni kweli au si kweli na tunajua kwamba neno la Mungu ni kweli tumekusha kujifunza masomo kama matatu kuhusu mambo tofauti tofauti kuhusu neno la Mungu na leo uh, kichwa cha somo chetu kinasema unaweza kujisomea Biblia wenyewe wangapi wanapata tabu kujisomea Biblia wenyewe na mimi pia. Unafungua kitabu hiki ambacho ni kitabu 6666 books in here. Swali so, la kwanza naanza kujiuliza where do I read? Naanza kusoma wapi? Na mara nyingi uh, watu tunajiuliza uh, na wazaji kumaliza bibi nzima. Uh, 
When I was growing up, I, was, you know, I could hear a lot of messages, and one day someone was reading the book of Samuel. I was talking about Paz and Sisi. Verse Samuel or something. Like in Shura. The Abari Adao teaches about how Arienda can turn on Goliath. It's the story of David and Goliath. Na Biblia says that when they took the mawe, matano, katika bonde, konde, konde, ya konde. Amen. The story says that he went on and picked up five stones in a valley. Na na alitumia. And we know that he only used one uh, one stone to, to kill uh, to defeat Satan. Yes. And I had somebody linking that to the books of Ephesians. Now uh, I'm going to go back. You know, Nicola, the first story in the same. Ah, in the same way, go back. Now, now, I'm going to go back. Now, I'm going to go back. Now, I'm going to go uh, that book of Ephesians says that uh, he gave uh, others the power to be disciples, teachers, and uh, so on. So the, 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 the teaching I heard was that those five stones was the five um, uh, ministries of God. Do you get that as how people start picking up pieces and linking them together? Uh, the other thing I heard when I was still at uh, Bible school, someone was preaching. Uh, someone was, was teaching saying that a lot of people don't get uh, fiancé because they don't sleep. Uh, he wants them to read the book of Genesis, that's the first book. Uh, it talks about uh, how God made uh, Adam to sleep. Uh, when uh, Adam was sleeping, that's where uh, God made a, a woman for him. They were very many uh, young men of us that were listening who told us. Now, 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 Amen. So the message was like you look at the left and the right tell your friend, sleep, sleep. I can't see my to go too active, to go to go. To na mama bring sir, there's four of them always to let you walk in. Um, it started telling that I'm mean, telling us that we are super active, such that uh, God may not bring us uh, uh, girlfriends. I mean, it looks like that's not a good way to 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 study the Bible. Uh, kuna church father moja wale wale zisha imani yetu hii tu sio wale wakwanza baada ni tume kwa kani to Oregon. Uh, but those church fathers who started like after the disciples who are preaching the the word of God. Uh, kuna diko lina sema. Yes, so I said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm the the Bible which speaks about if there's a member of your, your body that is causing you to uh, not to get into the kingdom of God, please uh, cut it. Uh, it's better to get in the kingdom of God with one eye instead of two eyes that. Uh, may stop you from getting there. So this this brother took the scripture as it is. And so he had a problem. He had a mem uh, uh, membrane of his uh, body which was uh, uh, disturbing him. So he saw that, that part of his body was making him sin. So he decided to cut it. Lakini je Yesu alipokuwa anasema hivyo alikuwa anamaanisha kabisa kwamba kama ni kiungo kweli unaona kikata manufaa macho. Is it really what Jesus meant when he was saying uh, if uh, your eyes uh, the one is making you sin you should go ahead and uh, physically remove the eye. Kwa hiyo leo tunakwenda kujifunza namna ya kuitafsiri Biblia na kwenda kufundisha. So today we are going to teach each other about how to uh, to interpret the Bible. Kwa hiyo pale hapo juu kwenye karatasi yako kwa wale ambao tunazo za Kiswahili mko na copy ziko mbili. 
for those who have a Swahili version of uh, these papers, it's not an English version, but you want to in the English version. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are reading to 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. You are going, going to read that scripture again. Some people are confused. Uh, do your best to present yourself to God um, as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, so, uh, Jabba la kwanza ni kwamba unalo neno la mungu nilino kuviwa. I mean, uh, we, the first thing is you have the, the scripture which is inspired by God. Uh, up there it's saying that you have the inspired text of the Bible. Uh, there's something called canon. I mean, today we're going to talk about how we receive those the sister books and accepted them as the word of God. I mean, somebody asked himself why are there 66 there are books in the Bible and not 67? Somebody asked himself that question. I've asked myself that. I mean, we ask, I mean, ask myself why we accept these books as the word of God. I mean, I know that there are other churches that have this same Bible, but in between, there's what is called Apocrypha. Uh, we, as we call ourselves evangelicals, we don't accept those books. What is the view that? Uh, we are going to see how these books were uh, accepted as books of God. When we started learning about this, we learned that uh, this book, I mean, the writers of this book were inspired by God. I mean, to mean, that there were so many uh, writing which was going on. Some of the scriptures that were uh, inspired by God. Amen. Amen. I mean, there's some uh, writing on, on in those on those books, apocrypha, which speaks about Jesus. He went on and danced. But we don't have that. For these 66 books to be the way they are, there's something called canon which was used. Now, canon, manake ni kanuni, sheria, au kawaida. Canon is like rules, norms. What is this? But number one, they put the rule in there to make a opinion. I mean, it's like a rule that is used to, to I mean, it's sticky to measure. Uh, and that's the way which uh, was used to put those six, six books uh, of the Bible together. What is the view? What is the view? Hallelujah. To go from the back of you. You can't say that you miss that. I'm a chair. If no, I'm going to be pushing to be so that I'm the prayer. Uh, somebody will ask themselves, is it true that uh, God has already revealed himself uh, through the Bible? Uh, I mean, uh, now we hear people saying that I, ha I have more, more than what uh, God has, uh, has revealed to us. I mean, uh, I have something else that God has revealed to me. 
kama inofia fire guards mimi mwenyewe nimewahi kusikia watu ambao wanafundisha hivi kwamba ndio hili ni neno la Mungu lakini niko na ufumuo mwingine zaidi zaidi ya neno la Mungu I've had people teach preaching God I mean this is the word of God but I have more revelation than what is here sasa kumbuka ukisoma ile chapter ya mwisho ya kitabu cha ufunuo remember when you read the last book I mean the revelation inasema hivi kwamba mtu asifanye nini asiongeze wala asi It says that you should not add or I mean subtract anything from the Bible. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Inamaanisha Biblia tuliyonayo ndio neno la Mungu ambalo Mungu aliamua kujifungua kwetu. I mean it means the Bible we have that's the word of God that God revealed to us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hapo chini na Babili inasema sheria iliyotumika kukusanya vitabu ilikuwa ni kuangalia kama vitabu vimevuviwa na roho mtakatifu. Uh, the sole criterion we are uh, for whether or not the book is canonical is if it's inspired what is as if you say kwa hiyo ile vitabu hivi viingie na kukubalika kuwa ni neno la Mungu for this book to penetrate and be accepted as the word of God wale walio vikubali walivikubali kwa sababu waliona kwamba vimevuviwa na Mungu takatifu those who accepted them accepted them because they were convinced that it was the word of it was inspired by the Holy Spirit what is as if you say na pamoja kanisa liliweza kukubali kama vitabu vimevuviwa lakini sio kuamua kama vimevuviwa Uh, one uh, the church has the ability to affirm but not to declare a book canonical bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa hiyo kanisa lenyewe linakubali tu kwamba hili ni neno la mungu lakini halikuweza kuamua kwamba ah hivi na hivi the church itself accept that uh, this is inspired of word of god but that it isn't uh, like a decide or judge that this is how it was supposed to be bwana yesu asifiwe Namba tatu kanuni ya vitabu vya agano la kale vilikubalika wakati wa nabii Malaki. Uh, the canon of the Old Testament was recognized by the time of Malaki. Kwa hiyo tunajua hivi kwamba agano la kale ndio lilianza. We know that the Old Testament statements come came first. Na 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 kitabu cha mwisho katika agano la kale ni kitabu cha Malaki. And we know that the, the, the last book in the Old Testament is the book of Malaki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Tuko pamoja? Amen. Tunajifunza. Are we ready? Kwa hiyo kitabu cha mwisho ni kitabu cha Malaki. The final book is the book of Malaki. Na by the time muda huo Malaki ulipofika, by the time of the, the book of Malaki, walikuwa wamekusha kuvikubali agano la kale lote. I mean they, they already accepted all the Old Testament books. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sasa kama nilivyozungumza wako wenzetu ambao wanakubali vitabu vingine vinaitwa Apocrypha. I mean that just like what I said there are other people who accept the book which are called apocryphal. Ambao kuna kuna hadithi za ajabu sana. Where there are very uh, maybe many stories. Mimi mwenyewe sijawahi kuvisoma lakini nimewahi kusikia hadithi kama vile Yesu alienda akiwa mtoto sikuwa kuna kidege kikafa and then aka 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 kiponya na vitu kama kuna mambo ya ajabu ajabu. There are so many stories that we have read about some of them talking about Jesus who went and the sabu kuna ni vinaitwa Judas Judith, I think Judith na na Tobia na vitu kama hivyo. Baba atatuma tunapo. Those books like uh, Tobia and other books that uh, we don't have in this book. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Vitabu vya Agano la vya Agano la Kale vilikubalika na Yesu. Luka 11:51. Uh 39 books of the Old Testament were recognized by Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa hiyo uh, uh, Yesu mwenyewe alisema sijaja kuitangua Torati nimekuja kuifanya nini? Uh, Jesus himself spoke about he didn't come to uh, change Torah but he came to accomplish it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ah na baadaye anasema kanuni ya vitabu vya agano jipya vilikubaliwa mapema sana na kusisitizwa mwaka 1397 AD. The canon of the New Testament was recognized very early and ratified in uh, 397. What is the situation? Kuna kamati inaitwa the Council of uh Carthage. C A R T H A G. Uh there's a committee called uh, the Committee of Carthage. Carthage. Na wenyewe wali ka na kukubali neno la Mungu. Uh, they said and agree on the word of God. Sasa sita idea kwa undani zaidi kwa sababu atufunzi historia. I mean I'm going to get deep inside because I'm not uh, teaching you other history. Lakini ni kwamba yalikuwa kwa kamati nyingi nyingi ambazo zilikaa na kukubaliana kwamba hili ni neno la Mungu. But the truth that there are so many committees that met and uh, agreed that this is the word of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. 
Inashangaza kwamba tokea wakati huo mpaka leo hii vitabu 66 vinakubalika kwa maneno It's amazing that uh, from that that time until now uh, those six books are accepted. Na mara nyingi wakati huo walikuwa wanainuka kama vile ambavyo leo hii wanainuka walimu wa wao. I mean even that during that time there was also false uh, teachers, false preachers. Ambao wanaanza mafundisho yao na kusema Yesu sio Mungu vitu kama hivyo. Au who are starting to say Jesus was not God things like that. Au kama alikuwa ni mwanadamu tu na vitu kama hivyo. That was just another human being. Ah uh, kwamba yeye labda Yesu hakufa, alikufa kiroho kuna vitu kama hivyo. I mean that Jesus didn't die, that he just died spiritually. Kila kanda ya mafundisho ya namna fulani yalikuwa yanakuja wakati huo. I mean there was so many different type of uh, preaching na kwa hiyo kanisa la Mungu ilibidi ndio linakaa pamoja na kutulia na kusema hapana lazima tulilinde lililo neno la Mungu. So the church of God was sitting together and saying no, we should really protect the word of God. So sisi tunajua kuhusu kitabu cha Matendo ya Mitume si ndio? Ndio. Eh tunajua kuhusu wale manabii 12 si ndio? We know about the 12 disciples um we know about Acts ujue kwa bana wenyewe walikuwa wakienda na kuwa na wanafunzi wao. Know that they are also, also going out and having their own disciples. When I say yes, sir. Kufano, Yohana abaya liandika kitabu cha ufunuo na kitabu cha Yohana. When, for example, for example, John who wrote the book of Revelation. I mean, said that he was the, the last disciple to die. He lived longer than any other disciples. Lakini tuna, tunapata habari kupitia moja wa wanafunzi wa wa Yohana kupitia historia. So kupitia Biblia, kupitia historia kama Polycarp. I mean we, we learn again from the, the one of the, the disciples of John uh, from the Bible, uh, uh, from the history kama kama, kama wanafunzi moja wapo alikuwa anaitwa Polycarp. Uh, that was one of the disciples of who was called Potiphar Polycarp. Polycarp. Amen. Kwa hiyo unakuta hivi kwamba ingawa ufumo wa Mungu uko uko umeisha umeisha even though the revelation of God was oh, was uh, came to the end that he didn't he who fumo uko naendelea kutoka wanafunzi wa Yesu and then wale wanafunzi wa Yesu na wengine walikuwa na wanafunzi hivyo hivyo hadi kufikia so there was a chain from uh, like a disciple of Jesus and those disciples of Jesus said also their own the disciples who had more revelation what is this is that now when you now akubaliana kwamba hili ni neno la Mungu they also agree to believe that this is the word of God tuko pamoja amen amen Sheria tatu zilitupika kuangalia kama kitabu uh, ni, ni, ni neno la Mungu. Uh, three, uh, three, three rules were used, three norms were used to, to judge to decide whether the, this was the word of God. Hii haiko katika karatasi yako. So in your paper. Na pamoja ni kwamba lazima kitabu kiyo kipe kuvuliwa na Roho Mtakatifu. The first thing was the word had to be inspired by the by, by the Holy Spirit. Na katika uh, agano jipya Uh, in the New Testament, nasema kwa Kiingereza, oh, so that in English, in the New Testament it had to be apostolic writing or backed by an apostle. Ilitakiwa iwe kitabu kiwe kimeandikwa aidha na mtume au kina kina kinapewa uzito na mitume. It had to be apostolic or backed by apostles. Na kuna kueleze. I'll explain that. Tuna vitabu tunavijua kwa mfano Paulo ameandika vitabu kama 13 hivi katika We know the books we know uh, Paul wrote like uh, 13 but books tunajua hivi kwamba hivi ni vitabu vya mtume Paulo We know that those are the books of Paul Lakini na kwa mfano Mathayo tunajua kwamba yeye naye alikuwa mtume aliandika kitabu cha Mathayo We know also Mathayo he was also one of the disciples he also wrote the book of Matthew Lakini tunajua hivi kwamba kiko kitabu cha Marko na Luka na hawa hawakuwa 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 mitume We know that there's also the book of Mark and Luke and these two were not uh, disciples. Lakini mitume walitumia maandiko yao na kuyakubali. But uh, the disciples used their word and accepted them. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunaelewana kwa kapo. Namba tatu ilitakiwa maandiko hayo yakubalike na zaidi na kanisa. Widely accepted by the church. Uh, uh, those scriptures were had, had to be accepted widely by the, the church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Naweza kaongezea kitu kingine hapo ni kwamba ukisoma vitabu vyote 66 vya Biblia, uh, something I'm going to add is if you read all the 66 books of the Bible, hakuna mchanganyiko, no contradiction. Uh, there's no contradiction in those books. 
kwa pamoja eh kwa hiyo walipokuwa kiangalia walikuwa wanaweza kuona kwamba hii ni sio neno la Mungu I mean when they were looking at that and the, 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 in those books they were, they were able to say this is not the word of God amen kama huko naomba unipepe Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll make sure everyone understands. Bible says that the word of God is not just a word of knowledge and the power of our mind. The word of God, which has been inspired, uh, is my text. Uh, the inspired text of the Bible is the sole basis and final authority for faith and practice. Hii ni muhimu sana. This is very important. Kwa sababu ziko imani ambazo zinaamini neno la Mungu lakini wako na kitabu kingine na. Because they are, they are, those groups that uh, have faith in the, the word of God but have a, a separate small book on the side. Kwa mfano mmoja mzuri wako na kitabu cha uh, 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 Smith, Nani Smith, Joseph Smith. Like mmoja have a, a small book for uh, Joseph Smith. Kwa hiyo hicho kitabu na chini kinaheshimiwa kama Biblia. And they also uh, respect that book that the like the Bible. Si, 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 we don't have any other books ourselves except the, this one the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, na mambo hii hapo chini una uwezo wa kusoma, kujifunza na kuelewa neno la Mungu. you have the, the ability to learn and to, uh, to to read and to understand the word of God. Hallelujah. Sasa le, sasa hapa leo tutaenda kujifunza ni namna gani unaanza kujifunza neno la Mungu. So we're going to learn about how it starts Uh, teaching yourself the word of God. How many of you are ready to know about it? Amen. Amen. So you're not like that person who links two different scriptures and went on like that. There's what is called inductive, inductive Bible study. Na nibidi kusoma Biblia kwa kuchunguza maandiko yote kwa pamoja na kuachia neno linene kisha unafikia maamuzi. I'll have to explain. Uh, that's an, an, a way of re, uh, reading the Bible uh, from like a okay, inductive Bible study is a method of studying the Bible by which you study the synthesis and particulars of scripture and on the basis of that that study arrive at a conclusion. We're going to do we're going to practice about that, don't worry. Amen. Amen. Uh, that's what we're going to practice about that, don't worry. Amen. Don't worry about what's happening. So the inductive Bible study is about in a deductive Bible study. So inductive Bible study is different for, from deductive Bible study. Of uh, uh, deductive Bible study manani ni unakuja na akili yako na mawazo yako alafu unatafuta neno la support. I mean uh, deductive Bible study is like you come with your own thinking and you find a supporting uh, scripture from that. Kwa hiyo baadaye akusema hivi kama mimi ninaingia kama nilivyo ili neno la Mungu liseme na mimi. I mean this is of like saying like I'll get in and so that uh, the scripture can speak to me about the inductive Bible study which is an uh, inductive Bible study mtu anakuja na mawazo yake anatafuta maandiko ya kusupport mawazo yake. Somebody comes with his own uh, uh, I mean thinking or writing and so look for a support for for that. Wadada tupo Sisters, are we there? Okay, so tatoa fa. Uh, I'm going to give an example. Uh, unakuta kuna mkaka uh, yuko kanisani na anataka ampenda Mungu. I mean, you come to church you find a brother who really looks like he loves God. Alafu anakuja kwako anasema hivi kwamba nimeoteshwa. I mean, and they come to you and say, I had a dream. Yani hii ndoto was very clear. So kama zingine zinakuwa zinamchele mchele kidogo. That this dream was so clear. It didn't have any mix up in it. I kwa na mchanga mchanga. There was there was no confusion and you know what I'm kusoma kitabu cha Yoweli ile sura ya pili mstari wa 28. I mean, I was coming from reading the book of Yoweli. Na unajua kitabu pale dada yangu pale nasema hivi kwamba vijana wataona maono. I mean, you know that in that scripture saying that uh You men will see the vision. Eh, now talk about the city and they will dream. Ni kumbe siku zote anagona anapendeza na unafutiwa na wewe anakupenda. Yaani hivyo ndio vile vile viko ndani yake yeye. Men actually that's what is in this in him. He sees you every day. Na amefika ni mahali ameota. Ameota sasa. 
I mean, so he sit down and get to a point where now he's dreaming. Like, he was a woman who 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 was a Sisemi hili kwa uwaya lakini mara nyingi nikiwasha TV nakuta kuna wanchilisti wa ubiri wa zuri tu. I'm not saying this uh, in a bad way but I'm also saying I see eventually preachers on TV wa zuri tu. Uh, very beautiful. Uh, lakini wako wengine hawatumii neno la Mungu vizuri. But there are those who don't use the scripture of God very well. Ah uh, kwa maana mtu anakuja kuswa mambo ya kutoa give plant a seed. I mean like those people come about giving or planting seeds. Anasema hivi kwamba mimi wewe dada umekapo kwenye kochi ya kungu hapo nyumbani hapo. I mean a youth sister who sitting on the white couch in your house. Mungu anasema hivi kwamba toa ile dola 500 ya mwisho. I mean God is saying use that 500 and then you can know one. Natakiwa iwende kwa ajili ya ya shule ya mtoto. I mean, he's not, I'm not supposed to go for the, the school fees. I mean, what God says, I have a word for you. Uh, God says that you should tempt me. I mean, the scripture says, uh, God says you should tempt me. I mean, but, but in that case, there is something that the preacher is preparing, then he is using the word of God in a bad way. I mean, so, so, I mean, like believers, instead of, I mean, this word, they find this word very hard, but they want to hear something that makes them happy. There's a difference, my brothers and sisters. Tunayone? Yes. Wako watu wanaishia kutuwa vitu, wanatuwa, wanatuwa na wabari kiwi. I mean, the people who end up giving and giving and giving and they don't get blessed. Why? Kwa nini? Kwa sababu katika utuwaji, it is kutuwa kutukana na neno la mungu by faith. Why? Because, I mean, when giving, you're giving by faith. Siku kama mtu ananisikia. I mean, I have somebody. Imani yako wewe isipo ungalika na mungu, hakuna kinachufanya. I mean, if your faith is not linked to God, nothing's gonna happen. Kama imani yako ni kwa sababu ya mda ule ya mbao na msikiliza yule mtu wabaya na toka kwenye TV na msuma yuko mba utuwe mani zato zote, umekuisha hauta kukia. I mean, if your faith is about just, about what you're just listening from TV, from that man, I mean, you, you're done, you're not gonna get anything. Tuna lewa ne? Yeah. Wakati kukini tunasikia testimony. Uh, our time will hear some testimonies. Mtu anasima mama anasima niliuza kila kitu mungu wakanipa kazi, mungu wakanipa magari, I'm over here, but some people said I sold everything. I sold uh, everything I had and gave. God gave me so much. No, no, put out an idea, Korea. Have I have a review? And you, you tell yourself, I'm gonna try this also. And you, you keep uh, crying and crying, and you're not blessed. Amen. So, the Jesus of the Sumer and Nella Moda Mamodi, the Vizu Kuomba and Tanga Mahari Muda was so many of them. I mean, the way to, to read the word of God is to. Uh, Plan and uh, have a place, a specific place to, to, to read the word of God. Don't read the word of God when his phone is open, it's on. I mean, don't read the word of God and children are wrong. You don't get anything. I mean, you end up just slapping them and uh, you get angry. Na Palestine said, Ni muhimu kwa na moyo uriyo tayari kukukia kweli ya neno. Marko nne moja mwaka shina tano. Ni muhimu kuwa tayari kupokea neno, uh, uh, kupokea kweli ya neno. Uh, so in Mark, Mark 4 uh, verse 1, it says, Have a receptive heart to the truth. Wana isa sikiwe sana. Uh, unajua jana yuse tali ubiri kusu uh, 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 diet and nutrition. Eh? Yeah, yesterday brother uh, Innocent uh, preached about uh, nutrition. Na na akasema akasema yuko ba lazima tu tuwe na katika kuda yani lazima tu tuwe tuwe na afya nzuri. Awe si. Let's talk about uh, having good health. Na adema lolo somo ni matayo unene 
And he read in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Ambao Yesu alijibizana na sisi shetani anasema hivi kwamba mtu ataishi kwa mkate peke yake bali kwa kila neno litokalo kwa Mungu. We were just speaking about uh, when Jesus was arguing with Satan about men shall not live only by bread but uh, by the word of God. Sasa naomba unisikilize. Want you to listen to me carefully. Kristo tuliyonao sikuizi mwingi mwingi wake ni 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 buffet. Uh, many of our Christian today is uh, like a uh, buffet. Buffet. Yes. Uh, it's like buffet. That's how uh, our Christianity is today. Uh, today uh, the pastor preached, but I was not so blessed. But if the brother went to Austin, which would have this word. Maybe, maybe the sword of pain is where. Because that brother is uh, so mean. No, we start to be for squeeze buffet. That's that's how our Christianity is. Ni kwamba mtu anakaa kanisa yeye anasikiliza naona ili ndachukua ili nazungumzia baraka baraka. Hii mambo ya zabi zabi. I mean, oh, when a Christian just sitting there and listening and say, I will pick this one, I will take this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this one is okay. Yeah. This yeah. one is what I mean. But the real, the truth. I mean, uh, the word of the real, the word of God, the truth. We don't want. Kwa hivyo nisa, nisa na kila bobo amobilia nisa na jana. Nasi mtu na afya nzuri, jilo. Just like what the, the preacher said yesterday, we have to have good, a good spiritual health. Kwa hivyo afya zina kwa mbaya, ai, 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 ni kwa sababu hatuli sawa. Because uh, we have, we don't have good health because we don't eat, uh, we don't respect our diet. Kwa hivyo, kwa hivyo uki, uki, uki ikia katika nino la mungu, unaanza kunyofua, nyofua, na mna hindi, na mbaliki sana hindi, yes. Yes, naona mwaka huu nitaona kuolewa kabisa hapa hapa yes. Lakini huko nasema acha usiki uchawi, uongo a hii hapa ni this is too much. When you when you read the Bible and you see what it's saying about marriage about being blessed about all those things you happy and say this is what I need. When you read that side which is talking about stop uh, uh, fornication, stop uh, adultery and uh, you you brush that aside because that's not what you want. Sinaelewa ne? Kila mtu lazima aje mbele za neno la Mungu kama makuja mbele ya kio. I mean, everyone should come to the word of God just like the way you come in front of a mirror. Sidhani kama mtu unaweza kaenda mbele ya kio, umevaa vizuri kabisa, uko tayari. I don't think somebody will come will go in front of a mirror well dressed and ready. Alafu unafanya hivi. And then you open your mouth like this. Alafu unaona kuna lag hapa. And then you, you see a piece of trash on the teeth. Oh, Alafu kuna spinach imebaki. Oh, there's just a piece of spinach on the teeth. Alafu unasema, "Yeah, that is okay. Go ahead and look at this." Then you say, "No, that's okay. I'll just go to check like that." Before you can find. That's what a lot of us do. Na kuja kwenye neno la Mungu, neno la Mungu ni kweli. It is the truth. I mean, you come to the word of God, the word of God is truth. Na kila mtu tunakuja mbele ya Mungu, hata mimi tunaje na kuja mbele ya neno la Mungu na ananiambia hapa. I mean, if it's the pastor, I come to the word of God and say, I mean, here I went wrong. Oh, this uh, or here, word of God and say, this is what just ended me for sure. Oh, this is what just ended me for sure. Oh, this is what just ended me for sure. Oh, this is what just ended me for sure. Oh, this is what just ended me for sure. Oh, this is what just ended me for sure. Oh, this I mean, I start uh, leaving some stuff, uh, some spots on a here and there. This is what just I will not be uh, good. Bonesa sifisa. B, tunakuna kujifuta kitu kina ito hermeneutics. Hermeneutics ni sayansi na sana ya kitu si Biblia. We cannot learn about hermeneutics, which is the science and the art of biblical interpretation. Tunakuna kufanya mazoezi. Mtu kuja asome katika kitabu cha Yohana 3, 10 na 6. We are going to practice. Somebody who read the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Ili kwanzia leo wanze kuwa na ujasiri wa kusoma neno la mungu. Na kusema niko nina 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 vitu ambavyo vinaweza nikakutumia kwa dosi. I mean so that you have some uh, tools to say what are you reading the Bible and you know that you have some. Mtu yote asome uh, Yohana 3:16 na 6. Na waacha kuwazi maana tutakuwa tukirudia. Uh what somebody to read the book of John uh, chapter 3 verse 16 and leave that uh, part open. Karibu. Welcome somebody. For God so loved the world that he gave his own son that Amen. For God so loved the world that He gave. See you. When you when you explain the same command, Jesus Him who will repent of the man who had to accept to open up the gate, He declared to Abraham and Isaac, "Today, by the hour of the sun, I will be there." When Isaac said, "Son," 
Kwa hiyo kuna mambo matatu. Leo kisao kila kitu nilichofundisha na mbona ukumbuka mambo matatu. I mean today there are three things. If you forget everything, don't forget these three things. Kasika kujifunza neno la Mungu kulitafsiri neno la Mungu vizuri. Ina ina uh, about learning and uh, interpreting the word of God very well. Unaanza kwa kuchunguza na kitu kinaitwa observation kwa Kiingereza. Uh, you start by doing what is called observation. Hallelujah. Number mbili ni kutafsiri. And the second thing is interpretation. Na namba tatu ni kutendea kazi. And the third thing is to act upon the word. Application. Application. Amen. Amen. Hai mambo matatu. Observation, interpretation, application. And those three things, observation, interpretation and application. Unachunguza neno la Mungu, you observe the word of God, unalitafsiri vizuri, you interpret it well, unasema hili linamaanisha nini, unaenda kutendea kazi. And then you go and uh, uh kwa hiyo katika kuchunguza namba moja pale uh, from for the first time in uh, when it comes to observation uh, unajiuliza swali je naona nini you start asking yourself what do i see je naona nini what do i see kwa mfano kwa maana jinsi Mungu alipenda ulimwengu hata akamtoma naye pekee ili kila mtu amwamini asipotee pale awe na uzima milele unaona nini i mean from the scripture that you just read uh, uh, what do you see Jesus kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu alipenda. Nani anaongea? Who is talking here? Jesus. 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 It's Jesus. Yes. Na nafurahi ni kuja kwa wakati wake. Because hatujaanza kusoma hiyo kwanza mwanzoni. Um, I'm happy that it came to the, at the right time because it didn't start from the beginning. I mean, a lot of people make mistakes the way we did it. I mean, you just pick from uh, the middle and you done and go with that. I mean, from the beginning, you don't know what it says and to the end, what it does. As long as it's not I mean, you don't know what it, it, it's about what. As long as they are done. Okay, so when you say that once I say, "Bas, we are going to have to move to the far side," we are going to have to go to the far side. We are going to have to go to the far side. We are going to have to go to the far side. We are going to have to go to the far side. We are going to have to go to the far side. We are going to have to go to the far side. And so when he gets to the, this chapter, uh, to the verse 16, that's where you could see for God so loved the world. Yeah. I mean, I've said most of the time when somebody wrote you a, 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 a letter, maybe uh, usually we're using Facebook and uh, emails. Now, They write to him in uh, like three or four paragraphs. I mean, uh, for you, instead of starting from the beginning, you go and start, and start from the middle. And the way he says, you, JJ, you're so stupid. And you get up and you're so angry. I mean, uh, yet he, he went and said, I mean, finish with dot, 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 L, O, L. <laughs> Most of us read the Bible, we don't know what it says from the beginning, and we don't know what it says from the end. Here in the context, that's called context. Or it's called context. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Why does no? We put your context in this room. So when it says, I mean, get that context very clear. If you read the scripture and you don't understand, I mean, go back. And start at least uh, chapters, uh, chapter, two, two, two chapters. Don't just pick up a, a script and say, this is the one that God wants me to use. Chukua pamoja, watu wengi wanakosia kwa kutafsiri vibaya mandiko because of 
this context. Kwa hiyo hapa mfano katika katika Yohana hii Mungu ni nani anaongea? Yes. Yesu. But in this book who is talking as Jesus? Na anaongea na nani? And who is talking to? Ndio vitu tunajiuliza unaposoma neno la Mungu. Those are things you should ask yourself when you are reading the Bible. Ni wakati gani anazungumza hizo habari? And when when is he talking I mean uh, talking about these uh, stories? Ni wakati wa Pasaka. Uh, it's uh, Easter. Wana hizo sifio sana. Amen. Na pamoja hapo anasema historia na wakati wa andiko kuna vitu vya kuangalia ni unaangalia historia na wakati wa andiko unalosoma. So you look at the history and uh, the, the time of the scripture we are reading. Una unasoma matukio ya wakati wa andiko unalosoma. I mean you, you read that uh, uh, what happened when you reading you, you are in that, that time. Kwa sababu turudi kwenye andiko hili. Let's go back to this scripture. Na sema kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu alipenda ulimwengu hata akamtoa kwa nawe pekee. Mungu alifanya nini? What God did that is what see here the question comes what mungu alifanya nini alimtoa mwanao alifanya mambo mawili what did God do he did two things ali alipenda akatoa I mean he loved and gave ndivyo unavyojifunza neno la mungu unaanza kujitafsiri na unaandika pembeni ni vizuri kuandika that's what you do when you are reading the word of God you interpret and you write somewhere na mara nyingi ndio huko tu hapo alafu tunaanza kwa uhubiri And that's how we get out of here and become preachers. How many of you are afraid of preaching here, standing here and preach? This is how we start to interpret the word of God. And it's for your own benefit. And then for everyone that you fellowship together. So what? So what? Ili wetu Ili kila Asipotee bali awe mm. Kwa hiyo hapo mtu anaanza kujiuliza uh, 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 kitu kikubwa ili mtu awe na uzima wa milele ni nini So here you are asking yourself what's the biggest thing to do to have everlasting life Ni nini kwenda kanisani sana is it going to change a lot ni kutoa sana ni uh, is it offering ni maombi big is it pray praying a lot Anasemaje ili amuinie belief. Are you serious about belief? Na ukisoma kitabu kizima cha Yohana kinazungumza about believing, 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 believing. So when you read the entire book of John it's talking about believing, believing, believing. Yohana 21 anasema hayo yote yaliandikwa ili muamini. I mean the book of John 21 is saying this is all this was written so that you may believe. Hiyo ndio theme inajirudia ndani ya kitabu cha Yohana. That's what is the, the theme that is coming back in the book of John. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Una mtatu tunaangalia maneno ya muhimu katika sura ya Yesuo. Uh, the next thing if you look at the very important thing in the passage you read. Kwa neno neno moja hapo la muhimu ni God au Mungu. Like here the key word is like God ambapo kwa 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 Kiunani the Greek the Theos in which is in the Greek the Greek word is Theos. Ah ningine ni love and power the other one is love and power world cosmos au dunia uh what gonna world cosmos uh, sun mwana wa mungu uh, then this the sun unaangalia kwa maana jinsi mungu aliupenda nini ulimwengu akamtoa nani mwanao mambo matatu hapo ni mungu na na kwa objective iko na shughulika na na wanadamu na na ulimwengu then you see god god had of the objective he was very much involved about a human being but as a sister kwa hiyo mungu anaangalia unachunguza nini Then you're looking and you're observing the word of God. Na mabili kuna tafsiri. The next thing you interpret it. Sasa hapo katika tafsiri ni kwamba tumie maandiko mengine kutafsiri maandiko. Here on interpretation use other scriptures to interpret the word of God. Kwa sababu kuna maandiko ambayo hayako hayako hayana hayajielezei sana. The other scriptures don't are not self explanatory. Ukisoma huko huko chini huko Biblia zetu za kisasa zinaonyesha ile andiko linaungana na maandiko gani mengine, si ndio? If you read our Bible our when like our this modern Bible at the end there are something that other scriptures that are linked to the scripture that you are reading, si ndio? Tuko pamoja? Are we together? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Ukiangalia chini ya Biblia yako huko kuna maandiko mengine huko. If you look at the end of your Bible there are other scriptures which are uh, explained I mean uh, links to the scripture reading here. Kwa mfano twende hiyo Yohana 3:16. Like let's go to John 3:16. Mtu mmoja niambie tu kwamba maandiko mengine yanayoendana na Yohana 3:16 ni maandiko gani? So 
Which one, can somebody tell me which other scripture is linked to John? John 3 16 from the Swahili book. Uh -huh. What will be time on that? How does it matter? Uh, what will be as uh, uh, What will be yet seen as that Christ did what? Die for us. Ah, we are not going to be able to do it. So when you read that, you read that you just sing that all this was about the cross for me to be served. So you did your Bible study by linking those scriptures and goals. Usisome Biblia uko mfungulia TV na unaangalia ucheshi, unaangalia comedy na uko unasoma Biblia. Don't open the Bible and start the Bible when the TV is on and you are looking at comedies. Uko unaangalia kasime. And you are looking at kasime. And then watu wakija pale wakikuuliza what are you doing? Unasema I'm doing Bible study. And when somebody comes there and ask you what are you doing? You say I'm doing Bible study. It doesn't happen. It I mean, I you have to, to dedicate yourself, your, your entire body, everything, your mind, on that word of God. You tell, you tell yourself, I'm going to close everything so that I can know about the word of God. How many of you just read something and forget about it? No, and yet you did read instantly. Now, what you want to say? Answer him. Be not just say him. Start this uh, uh, practice. Uh, we'll we'll start start to start to start 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 chapter one. You can either to take just one chapter. What we gonna pay that we saw my chapter? Maybe he or Akiuli so I said that he may manage to come to see my channel. A lot of you start to just read a lot of chapters so that when they ask, they say, "I've finished the book of John." I love Akiuli so. And then you only ask what that the book of John says, you don't remember. And then so you start reading and writing and saying, I read about Nicodemus. So here he had some questions that I also have. So you interpret them, you do the interpretation. Uh, to me, I look at number two. Uh, uh, number two, uh, 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 context of the press is the flow of the book. In the flow of the book. Amen. Number two, I say, to me, I look at how it is. If you come up with a wisdom, you come up with a wisdom. You come up with a figure of speech. To me, I look at how it is. Use the. Uh, Grammatical construction of passage, uh, no, okay. key, key words and phrase within the passage. Oh, sorry, to go, sir. To go. Use normal yeah. language. Yeah, use normal language unless there is a clue from scripture that leads you to believe uh, figurative language is being used. When I say if you say, when you ah ah, over now una una soma abari za za you da go bariya da kaginyonga. For example, if you are reading about Judah who went to hang himself, ni go ba day for you you da you da kina da. I mean, it's like that. He went on and uh, committed suicide. Don't go and look for uh, other meanings, uh, spiritual meanings behind that. Uh, Judas went and so. about tonight allegorization. What about a spiritualized man? I mean, there are people who spiritualize every scripture in the Bible. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, when I was talking about the Bible, I was talking about the Bible, and I was talking about the Bible. Uh, inafaradisha safari ya ya wana wa Israeli kutoka Kanani kama na sisi tunavoenda wapi Bingoni Bingoni yeah. yeah. sometimes when the word of God uh may be like bring a practical example that uh linked to spiritual example that's like the journey of uh, uh Israelite going to to Canaan which is like us our journey going to heaven when is this visa lakini tayari neno limekusha kutuletea utafsiri Already, uh, the word has given us the interpretation. But when you see somebody preaching, teaching, or the word of God, I mean, he goes, he goes and searching the Bible for something that will amaze everyone. I 
I mean, he is saying that God spoke to Elijah by fire. Sorry, so come so come out. Mungu 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 alitumia na alitumia kama namna nne za kusema na idea. That God used to, I mean four different uh, ways of speaking to Elijah. Basi na kuna kuna conference nzima wamejea watu maelfu wanajifunza jinsi ambavyo Mungu aliongea na idea. So you see people gathering in a call, I mean uh, a lot of people just studying about how God spoke to Elijah. Utafsiri wa Biblia umekosewa. I mean, the interpretation of the Bible is, was miscontested. Contested. <laughs> I mean, when you see that, they say that uh, Jesus got into Jerusalem, um, it means that don't start looking for spiritually what it means. How Jericho? Jericho ni Jericho. I mean, don't know what's Jericho. Jericho is just Jericho. Tuko pamoja? Kuna wapi wewe kuna kuta wana tafutiza tafutiza mtu na kama nasikiliza you 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 just sit there and say this is really i mean i've never had this in type of interpretation i mean when you are preaching it's holy spirit guiding don't come up with some, some other tricks gimmicks mimi nakufundisha hapa mikazi yako wewe kutendea kazi na roho mtakatifu aliyepo ndani yako. Mimi teaching you and it's up to you to, to use the whole spirit in you. Lakini kwa mimi mtungaji nitaifanya roho yako idunde dunde. If I start uh, jumping around and say hey I was church and I did a uh, good job. Hiyo is okay kama neno la Mungu pia linaobiliwa vizuri. I mean that's okay if the word of God was well preached. Lakini kama neno la Mungu linaobiliwa vizuri kuna shida. I mean if it wasn't well interpreted then uh, there's a problem. Okay, na baada ya kusudi la kutafsiri ni kuelewa kile ambacho mwandishi wa Biblia alikuwa amekusudia. Uh, the, uh, the goal of the interpretation to, is to understand what the author intended to communicate to the original audience. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo lazima ufikirie yule alikuwa anaandika alikuwa anataka kusudi gani. I mean, so you have to understand what was um, the writer trying to to mean. Tumalizie na matatu application au tutendea kazi. Uh, let's talk about application. Jeneno hili lina maana gani kwangu? Uh, what does this passage apply to me? Kwa mfano tulisoma ile Yohana 3:16. Like we read about about uh, in John 3:16. How do you apply that? Una kuna msidiria kikazi. I how do you uh, what's the applicability of that? How are you using that? Mchete niambie Yohana 3:16. Uh John 3:16 can somebody tell me the application? You know how to get the internal life okay mm -hmm. but also to believe kuamini it's also about uh, believing kama mimi nitamwamini Yesu na nikana na kwa kule kuamini najua tayari kuja kupokea usimamini yeah and so in believing i know how 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 get some an everlasting life kama wa kristo walikuwa wanasoma maandiko na kwa hiyo wamefunguliwa sana if christian were going to read the bible like that they they were going to like you know what sana subiri muhubiri hadi asimame hapa anze ku kuweka sabuni hapa anasema hivi kwamba John na Nawa na Nawisha na kisha mnasamehewa sanaa. But Christian would want to have uh, the, the preacher come here, I mean call them here with soap and wash them and say your your sins are forgiven. Na kufika kwa Afrika kaanza kuwafanya kwa 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 nani washika yake na na skin na kimya mapepo na There is a preacher with in South Africa who was going around and around and stepping on top on top of his uh, the believers. Ingine nimeona juzi kwenye Facebook mama mjamzito labda yenyewe mnaiona I saw another one on Facebook I mean a pregnant woman so that that is really that you call it this is too I didn't even want to listen to that and I mean I saw sort of just like what mtu anafanya hivi I mean everyone is there and some are stepping on and I'm kanyaga to body mama mjamzito and stepping on the stomach of the pregnant woman ndugu zangu tuwekwa huru na neno la Mungu uh brothers and sisters let's let's be free by the word of God vitu vile nasikitisha na hasa Africa sisi kwa nini I mean so sad that I don't understand why. Na nacho kwa Mungu anaweza katembea. Ndugu zangu nimeona Mungu akitembea kwa namna ya ajabu. I mean I've seen God I mean moving in a very amazing way. Watu wanaanguka. Nimeona hiyo. Nimeona. I mean seen that people falling. Na ni kweli kama ni nguvu ya Mungu. I mean through the, the power of God. Lakini kama maisha yako hayajabadilika from the moment umeinuka hapo basi kazi yote ya kukuangusha ni bure. I mean if your life doesn't change from the moment that you fall there, that all job is just nothing. In fact umesumbuka umekupa tabu. I mean in fact if you uh, given yourself a umeanguka sote badilika unabadilika unaogopa na zamu zako hiyo. You fell down you just stand up and how na amani you can change. How na amani you have peace of mind. Hamna chochote kinaendelea. Nothing is going on. Niwe kwa pia busy wakati mimi nakuwa house girl wetu. 
akaenda kwenye kutana akaombewa siku madugu gani I mean, I've told this story about our uh, housemaid who went there and like, they pressed for him. The same night after uh, they prayed for him. I can answer my own people here. I could have asked them to come here and speak. Sorry? That's some man, very some man. I can say that when you want to pray, when you are in your house, I mean, he sees darkness and it's like. Some bed. 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 And that person came to church and ministered to the church. I mean, somebody told us the story of Ananiah and Sapphira. About how Peter lied to the Holy Spirit. And the way Ananiah lied to the Holy Spirit. And then how the wife of Ananiah lied to the Holy Spirit. In the story that we book about in the 90s, Nico Nakua. I remember this is a story that happened in the 90s when I was growing up. To me, let me be the body of seminary we can see. Because when you are thinking about having a seminary we can see, I mean, we invited a preacher for the whole week of his conference. We did not have some sort of juma pele. No, it was a mystical yapeke. I mean, it started by saying Sunday will be a very unique day. We see Jericho come to Ghana, Rome. Don't try to lie to the Holy Spirit. Everybody, if you have something in the house, make sure you keep it here. I'm telling you, people are going to fall here. You will die like a man here. Did you find a Saturday night and say to Jesus, "If you can stand it, you may end up here." Sure. Come Saturday, I'll ask myself, "Are we really going to church tomorrow?" To the end, I'm not going to be able to do it. I mean, we went to church on Sunday, and the Sunday was just like any other Sunday. Hi, mom. That's why we call you Africa. That's why we call you Lazi. Not to fungu you. I mean, I don't know why African we love this, but we have to be free. Say we have to be free. Say we have to be free. Dio, nena la mumuli na tuaiki ya kwa mataji, kwa na uwezo, kila kitu la kitu sidi ni kufu kibi ya kibi ya. I mean, the word of God promises us to be rich and have revelation, but don't try to jump and go. Come, come, na ili. Say with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. 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 Let's pray.